Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to generate dynamic QR codes in PHP. QR codes are super useful for sharing URL, text, or any information in a quick and scannable format. We will be using the PHP library like QR code library, which is a simple and lightweight tool for QR code generation. I will walk you through the entire process step by step, so let us get started. So first, we want to download QR code library, so for download this library, we have to open up your terminal or command prompt, and then after, navigate to your project folder. After this, we have to type this command and run this command. This command will automatically download and install the QR code library into your project vendor directory. Once the installation is complete, so you should see a vendor folder in your project directory. And this contains all the necessary files and libraries which we will be using. In the next step, we are going to include this library in our PHP script and start generating our first QR code. Now we have open index.php file and under this file. Let us start by including the composer autoload file which will give us access to the QR code library and any other dependencies which we may have installed. This line ensures that all the classes from the Android slash QR code package are available for us to use. Composer generates this autoload.php file automatically so we can easily access any of the libraries which we have installed. Next, we need to import two classes from the Android library that will help us to generate and display the QR code. Here use android slash qr code slash qr code, so it will import the qr code class, which allows us to create and configure the qr code itself. Next we have to write, use android slash qr code slash writer slash png writer. So it will import the png writer class, which will handle saving and outputting the qr code image in png format. Now that we have included these two essential classes and we are all set to generate and customize our QR code. Next we have declare an empty variable called dollar image code and under this variable we will store QR code image data. Now let us create a simple HTML form that will allow users to enter the content for convert into a QR code. We will be submitting the data via a post request and our PHP script will handle to generate the QR code dynamically. So here we have to create one form tag with method is equal to post. Under this form we have to create one text box for enter the content for QR code generation. So here we have to write input type is equal to text and field name is equal to content. Now for submit form data, we have to write, input type is equal to submit, and name is equal to, create. So when, we have click on this button, then content data will be sent to our PHP script, for generate dynamic QR code. Finally after the submit button, we have to write, echo statement, with dollar image code variable. So it will display the generated QR code image after the form is submitted and it will create QR code image dynamically based on the user's input. Now we want to handle the form submission so first we want to check if the user has clicked generate button on the form. So for this 
we have using is set function to set if the create button was submitted via post request. If it was, then the script will generate the QR code. Next we have to adding an extra check to make sure the content field is not empty. If the user submits the form without entering any data, then QR code generation will not happen, so it will generate a QR code when valid content is provided. After this, we have to write dollar temporary directory variable is equal to temp directory name, so under this directory, we will store generated QR code images. Below this, we have to write dollar file name variable is equal to phpmd5 function. And under this, we have to write unique id function dot png, so it will generate dynamic image name in png format. After this, we have to write dollar file path variable is equal to dollar temporary directory variable dot dollar file name variable. So here, we have combined the directory and file name, which give us the full path where the QR code image will be saved. Now for generate QR code, we have to write dollar QR code variable is equal to new QR code method. And under this, we have to write dollar post content variable. So here, we are creating a new instance of QR code class by using the content provided by the user in the form. Next we have to set the size of the QR code by using the set size method. Here, we are setting the size to 300 pixels and you can adjust this value based on your design needs. After this, we have to write dollar writer variable is equal to new PNG writer class. So here, we are using PNG writer class to write the QR code as a PNG image and here, we have create a new instance of PNG write class. After this, on PNG instance, we have called the write method by passing dollar $QR code object. This will generates the QR code image and stores it in the dollar result variable. Next we want to save the generated QR code image in the dollar file path variable. So here, we have to write dollar result variable and after this we have called the save to file method with dollar file path variable so it will create a physical png file of the qr code in our temporary directory finally we have update the dollar image code variable with the html code to display the qr code image on web page So it will display QR code image on web page after submitting form with the content. Now that our code is ready, let us see the dynamic QR code generation in action by running it in the browser. So friends, here we have open our tutorial directory index page in the browser. So here we can see that one form has been displayed on web page for enter content for generate QR code. So here, we have enter link under content text box and after this, we have click on submit button and so here on web page, we can see that QR code image has been generated which we can see in here. This QR code is based on the content which you have just entered. If you scan it with your phone or any QR code scanner, then it will direct you to the content which you have submitted. Now here, we have enter text content under this text box. And after this, we have click on submit button. So after click on submit button, here we can see that QR code has been generated. So here, we have generate the QR code from text content. So you can generate QR code from links or text content also. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more programming tutorials. Drop a comment 
if you have any questions or query, and lastly I will see you in the next video.